Sliver decks are played by bad people to make you feel like bad people. Now, the idea, very cool. All your slivers giving all your other slivers superpowers, that's dope. It's like the power of friendship if friendship lets you tap for mana and get first strike and all that bullshit. The problem is that the wickedness gradient on slivers is way too steep. Because when you only have to worry about one sliver or two slivers, it's not very wicked at all. You can deal with it. And in fact, if you start dumpstering the slivers player at that point, you're going to feel a little bad, right? They're not doing anything yet. It's going to be like, hey, why are you kicking sand in the baby's face? But then when they get to three sometimes, or when they get to four anytime, it is now extremely wicked. The baby has now built a shotgun. It knows where your mother lives. And the next turn involves either a board wipe or an ambulance. And overall, I could even deal with that being how your threat level scales as long as you don't play the victim when I'm stabbing you in the back of the knees with a spork early in the game.